Hi, I'm Ken Sapola, and thank you for watching today. I just wanted to take a moment to introduce myself and tell you why I am presenting this video to you, and hopefully it explains why these other videos exist as well. And I pray that there is a connection made between what's said in not only this video, but the other videos, a connection made between us and with you. It's more than just me that's in front of the camera. Uh, we do have a team, and I want to call them out by name, my wife, Rena Sapola and also my brother, Nabil Khan. We are a three-member team so far, but the team is going to grow in Jesus' name. We also have the presence of God with us. We have Jesus. We have the Holy Ghost. And so where two or three are gathered together in the name of Jesus, there he is in our midst. So we have quite a team. We have a powerhouse team, matter of fact. The creator of the universe is here with us. But what we pray is that he moves through this device, goes through the internet ways, and comes through your device, and into your heart, and into your home, and that he touches you, and that he blesses you immensely. So anyway, in this introduction video, I just wanted to introduce myself, introduce our ministry, and kind of explain why we do what we do. So um, basically, I grew up in a, in a Christian home, and known the Lord my whole life. I was real young when I decided to, I made the choice to give my life to Christ. Throughout the years, I've been attending church, and I've, I've learned a lot along the way. I sat directly under the ministry of Pastor Dave Oberg, Faith Life Christian Center in Reno, uh, who is a Rama graduate. And it was through him and through my wife, Rena, that I actually got connected to Kenneth Hagan, Kenneth Copeland, uh, Keith Moore, Joseph Prince, uh, Rick Renner, and all these guys. This is where we really got uh, connected with everyone and started making these partnerships and tapping into anointings and things like that, and just really flowing with God with them. Um, and this is kind of how things started to culminate as far as the ministry and the anointing is concerned. So uh, one evening, my wife and I were just were resting, getting ready for bed, and my wife turns on Rick Renner. I've never heard of Rick Renner. We really recommend him, strongly recommend him. Go to his website, just Google him up, Rick Renner, and go to his website, check out his materials, he's amazing. He is truly a Greek scholar. Uh, uh, and an inspiration for us. Um, well, anyway, we're laying down and we're listening to Rick Renner and he's teaching a variety of things. And as I'm laying there, I'm getting ready to fall asleep. And I just said, right here, that, like this desire just came on the inside of me to ask God for the ability to learn and to retain and also to teach Greek and Hebrew. And so it just bubbled up on the inside of me and I it, in other words it just kind of like it just I don't know it formed on the inside of me I don't know how else to explain it but it just happened on the inside and I asked it I didn't open my mouth I just asked it on the inside Lord if I can receive anything through this ministry right now I want the ability to be able to teach Greek and to teach Hebrew to learn it and to retain it and to remember it and as soon as I said that it was like something was deposited on the inside of me. I literally felt something hit my gut. Uh, and, and that's where we would call the spirit. It was like right in the near the solar plexus. It was just right, bam, just something hit me right there. It was like something dropped on the inside, like something was deposited. And I just knew that I knew that I could do it. And so I turned over to my wife and I even told her, I can learn and teach Greek. I got it. I just caught it. I can do the Hebrew. I got it. And she said, well, bless the Lord. Good night. And we went to bed. Well, the next day I went out uh, and I spent my time with the Lord, opened the word, and I began the first word study um, on Paracletus, which is the helper, uh, the comforter. Um, and it just stuck to me. It did. It just stuck. And all the words started to stick from there on. And uh, so I just began studying the Greek, studying the Hebrew, and then the Lord led me into the ancient Hebrew. And it was through the ancient Hebrew that he began to open my eyes and reveal Jesus to me through the very roots of the Hebrew language. I was seeing Jesus in Yud, in Aleph, in He, in Vav, in Chet, in Tav, all of them. I was seeing Jesus everywhere. And uh, I mean, really some true inspiration and my faith was just rising up. It brought my relationship with God to a whole nother level, being able to see Jesus at the very root of all these letters that we've been studying and learning and reading and hearing about, that he's there right in the root uh, of everything. Well, one morning um, I'm doing my studies and I'm growing in God and just hanging out with the Lord. And 
it was almost as if my like I was about to leap out of my body. It was just, I just had an experience with God. I was just uh, being enamored by his love for me. And I didn't leave my body. I didn't go out of my body. I saw people standing out in front of me and their arms were raised up. And the Lord said, you may lay hands on some and they will get healed. But if you minister the way that I have shown you, I will lay hands on them and they will be healed. Chains will fall off. They'll be set free. They'll be delivered. They will be made whole. No healing line need to be made because I'm bringing the healing line to them. And so from that day forward, I made it an effort to teach and preach the word in this manner that he has shown me. And that is through the Greek, the Hebrew, and specifically the ancient Hebrew, revealing Jesus uh, to people. And since then, the Lord has done exactly what he has said he was going to do. We've had testimonies after testimonies of people coming back with uh, the healing reports with new revelation reports of the relationship with God has just went to a new level because of this manner of teaching. Jesus is truly moving through this type of ministry. And, and we're just very thankful and honored that uh, he would call us to present the gospel to all of you in this manner. We pray that you see Jesus in a whole new way, that the Holy Ghost just floods your life with light that he floods your life with joy through each letter, through each word, through each number, through each verse, through each bit of scripture that comes through this channel, that it affects your life in a positive way, that it brings prosperity into your home, that it brings healing into your home, a sound mind, uh, healed relationships. Uh, we just pray that this happens inside of your house. Tune back in for some other videos that are coming along. We have big plans for this channel, big plans for this ministry. Who knows where God's going to take it, but we're just in for a very cool ride. So just come back to this channel for more. You're going to see stuff from, from me. You're going to see, see stuff from Rena. You're going to see stuff from Nabil. And uh, just be so blessed. Thanks for watching. See you next time.